Hi and welcome to the Outpost RV. My name is Phelan. Our cameraman here is Henry and we're going to show you the Arctic Wolf 315 TBH8. Um, before we get started, a couple things. Uh, this is a bunkhouse model. It is all laminated fiberglass and aluminum structure. And one thing I want to point out about the aluminum structure is it's not just around the outside edge like some. They actually frame in all the windows, compartment doors, and everything is framed in with aluminum, so they do it right. Uh, we're going to start up front today with a pin box. This does come with your Moride Orbital pin box. And what this is, is uh, if you have a short bed truck, you can change your pivot point from up here to back here by removing two bolts uh, underneath in the back here. And then there's a wedge that comes along with it that you wedge in. So it'll prevent you from having to purchase the expensive slider uh, fifth wheel hitch. Uh, that's the purpose of that whole thing. Uh, the front cap is a molded fiberglass gel coat fiberglass cap. It does have your LED integrated light there in the front on each side. And that switch for those lights are down here underneath uh, your cab over here. Uh, and then right above that is your extend retract switch for your landing gear legs. Your landing gear legs do have your quick release uh, pin there, so once it's off the ground, you can pull that pin and slide your foot all the way up so you don't have to wait for it to retract all the way. Front storage here in the front. We have your battery box would be mounted in the front here. You do have a nice uh, metal storage tray here in the front. You have a battery shutoff switch in there as well. If you put the unit in storage, you can flip the battery shut off switch so your battery does not drain. Alright, we'll come around here to the passenger side. It is your solar panel port, so if you do any dry camping, um, you can purchase a portable solar panel and plug it into this port. It will maintain your batteries on the front. Uh, LP comes with two 20 pound LP tanks, uh, one on each side. We'll show you the other one later. And there is room in here to upgrade to the 30 pound if you would like. The reason they stick with 20 pound is because that's, if you go to a gas station to do an exchange, that's all they have there. So that's more of the standard size. Pass through storage here in the front. Uh, this passes through to the other side. A lot of nice storage there for you. And then um, you'll notice the little decal right here says extreme weather package. So this does have heated and enclosed tanks. Um, so it is ready for cold weather camping. Your awnings, power awning, you have an adjustment on each end so you can adjust the pitch of the awning for the rain to, to run off and it also has your blue LED light under there. This is a power awning, you have a switch on the inside to operate that and it is a 20 foot awning so you have a lot of awning space on the side of this unit. At the entry door we have your stable step. This is a step that sits on the ground, not one that's suspended from the camper, which makes it very solid. You have an adjustment on each side right here, so you can adjust the legs to the contour of the ground so it sits level. And these are very easy to set up and take down uh, by basically opening your entry door. Uh, you lift them up, Swing it up and there's a latch on the left hand side right here where you latch it into the frame of the door. And then you would close your entry door and flip in your uh, fold assist grab handle right here. And you're ready to go. So very easy to set up and take down. The entry door also you'll notice is what they call a friction hinge door. So you'll see it withstands 20 mile an hour winds. We don't have the latches like we've had in the past that you forget to unlatch and you tear it out or they get brittle over time and break for you. So that's a nice upgrade there. Six gallon gas electric DSI water heater. Uh, DSI stands for direct spark ignition and you can heat up to 10 gallons of water with gas or electric and 16 gallons of water with a combination of both. If you look in the lower left hand corner there's an on and off switch that's electric side and then I'll show you the gas um, switch on the inside when we get there. Aluminum rims with radial tires. Uh, they will come also with a tire monitor stem cap and it has the number 80 on the end cap so you can see what the tire pressure is. 
and if I release this, your tire pressure gets low. You can see that it turns to red. So you can visually see your tire pressure is low and you need to add air. I also removed the center cap here so you can see it is the easy lube axle along with your self-adjusting brakes. Outside Entertainment Center does come with blue lit uh, exterior speakers here. You have your TV bracket right in between them. Uh, this is compatible to the one on the inside, so if you'd like to take the TV from the inside, you can slide it in out here. You have your connections down below. Have your outside shower uh, with your hot and cold. You also have your black tank flush, so once you drain your black tank, you can uh, connect a water hose to this. There is a spray port on the back side of the tank that rinses that out for you. Um, you'll also, we'll get to this uh, on the inside, the control panel's on the inside, but this does have your one touch leveling. And basically, uh, when you unhook from your truck, uh, you hit your one touch leveling. It levels the unit all by itself. And when you're done, you can hit another button to retract and uh, you hit hitch height. It will uh, retract your legs and it'll also drop your hitch height back to where it was before you hit one touch leveling so it is ready for your truck to back up you don't have to readjust that uh, at that point so very nice easy to use your second entry door goes into the half bath this also has your stable step assist grab handle and you have your exterior uh, outside kitchen this here has um, some overhead cabinets in there for storage you have a light switch on this side for your blue LED lights and a receptacle and then you have the very nice large refrigerator this <laughs> somebody's playing pranks on us here but this is the nice big refrigerator uh, it has drawers on this side shelves over here with the drawer at the bottom Uh, also, we have our LP Quick Connect down underneath here. So if you have an outdoor grill and would like to tap into the LP bottles on the front, you can do that through that Quick Connect port. We have our 4x4 inch tube bumper here in the back. Um, this is where you would store your sewer hose. You have your spare tire and cover mounted for you on the back already. And then you'll also see up there underneath the clearance lights, uh, there's a black mounting bracket there. That is for a backup camera. So if you'd like to add a backup camera or an observation camera, uh, it is prepped and ready for that. Okay, we're going to uh, swing around. There's not a whole lot on the driver's side here. Between the two back slide outs right here would be your 50 amp connection. It does come with a detachable cord, so it's a separate cord. It's not one you're pulling out, trying to shove back in. So you can see that connection right there. Now we're going to move on up in front of the slide out for the rest of your hookup and dump station. <clears throat> You'll have your furnace vent here. You'll have your fresh water and city water connections right here. City water connection is where you connect your water hose at a campsite. Fresh water connection is where you uh, fill the uh, fresh water tank if you're dry camping and then turn on your water pump switch on the inside. Here again is your black tank flush for the main black tank for your main bathroom. The other black tank flush was for the half bath. And then you got your satellite and cable hookups above that. Your pass through storage from the other side. There you can see your um, 50 amp uh, detachable cord that comes along with it. And then at the front is your second LP bottle. And I believe that concludes, oh, one more thing I forgot to mention. Your dump station, they do have uh, extension handles coming out here for you so they're easy to reach. And uh, so your valves and everything are enclosed. And like I mentioned, everything is enclosed and heated underneath there for you. <clears throat> All right, I believe that concludes the outside of the 315 TBH. And now we'll move to the inside. Moving to the inside, you have your steps going up into the bedroom bathroom area, entertainment center uh, straight in, and the slide out is your sofa, what they call a trifle sofa, your dinette, your bunk room in the back, got your half bath, and then we have your kitchen right inside to the left. We will start here in the kitchen area. 
You have nice large overhead cabinets uh, with glass inserted cabinet doors. Microwave is in the overhead. And then the base cabinet, you have a bank of two drawers, cabinet door, an oven. And you'll see a switch on the right hand side right here. Turns on blue LED light around each knob. This is what they call a glass drop-in cooktop. Uh, what this is designed to do is to give you more countertop space if you're not using the stove. This has a bifold cover, so that folds back and also serves as a splash guard. Same with the kitchen sink. So you have a flush mounted sink cover right here. Again, giving you more countertop space if you're not using the sink. This is a farmhouse style single bowl stainless steel sink. Along with a high rise kitchen faucet. You'll also see that underneath the countertops you have a blue LED light. And swinging on over to the refrigerator. We have the residential refrigerator. I believe this is 11 cubic foot. So it's larger than the refrigerators we've had in the past. Uh, very nice, large, lots of storage in there. So refrigerator's at the top, and your freezer is at the bottom. And this would be 110 and 12 volts. So you do have an inverter. If you have power outage, you can kick it over to your 12 volt power, which inverts it to 110. Half bath. In here, you have a toilet and a lavatory. Along with a mirror on the wall, and you also have the Creative Breeze fan in the ceiling, which is operated by a control right here. So you have your power, you have your different uh, one, two, three speeds, and then your up and down is to operate the lid to open and close it. Moving back to the bunk area. We have a jackknife sofa in the slide out with a full down cup holder. We have a bank of three drawers down below and the jackknife sofa is designed to flip down into a sleeping area and then above that you have a bunk that also folds down uh, so you have a bunk over sofa. On the opposing side you have another bunk along with your entertainment center. Lots of storage shelves all the way around and then in the center would be where you can um, mount a TV and you have the connections up above that opening. Uh, one thing I do want to point out you'll notice uh, was really nice are the lighted uh, wall switches so you don't fumble around in the dark trying to find the switches they are lit so they're easy to find. Moving back out into the living area we'll cover the dinette uh, here Again, if you look at the pictures on our website, you'll notice that the table and legs are removable. You can put that down, slide the cushions together, giving you more sleeping room if, if needed. And you'll have a 40-inch drawer underneath each dinette seat. You'll also see USB ports uh, scattered throughout. You'll see one right there on the wall between the dinette and the sofa. See the entertainment center up by the bed on each side. And then you got your trifold sofa. Again, if you look at the pictures on our website, I have that out so you can see what that looks like, but just giving you more uh, sleeping space if needed. Entertainment center comes with your fireplace. Uh, you can set the different uh, lightings on it from dim to bright, and then also different levels of heat. I believe that's a 5,000 BTU um, fireplace. Above that is your stereo. This is AM, FM, also DVD, Bluetooth, uh, has a USB port. Above that is where you would mount your TV. You have your connections there. And then nice large overhead cabinets again with your glass inserted doors. Okay, we're going to move up into the bath bed area. Got hardwood steps going up here. Uh, right here in this hallway is where your monitor panel is. So this is where you check your black, gray, and fresh water levels. Um, your interior exterior light switches, your awning, 
and slide out switches. So this is basically your control panel. Right here is your switch for your inverter. And then you have a touch screen thermostat to operate your furnace and your air conditioner. And then up here would be your control panel for your self-leveling jacks. Moving on up into the hallway to the bathroom area. We have the wardrobe slide that extends into the bathroom bedroom. We have a medicine cabinet that actually opens, has storage on the inside. We have your vanity right here. We're going to step inside, close the door, swing you around. We have your toilet, which gives you your nice leg room that you're looking for. Stand up corner shower. And this does have your skylight above it, along with a never another Creative Breeze fan above the toilet in the main bathroom. Swinging on over to the wardrobe slide, <clears throat> you have a linen closet in the first one, a bank of four drawers, and a wardrobe at the other end. We have your bedroom area, so queen bed. And this is also on a bed lift, so you see above the headboard there is an extend retract switch so you can recline the bed if you want to sit up to read watch tv um, you have that capability on each side you have a little nightstand usb port and receptacle you also have <clears throat> a pendulum light on each side uh, so you can turn off the main light if you'd like and use these for reading lights or night lights they are blue white or you can turn them off. At the foot of the bed uh, is also your second thermostat for the second air conditioner. It's also touch screen. You have your slide out switch for the wardrobe slide. Your TV bracket if you want to mount the TV in the bedroom area. You have your connections up above that. And I believe that concludes the inside of the 315 TBH. <clears throat> I'll do one more brief walkthrough for you. Again, we are the Outpost RV. You can contact myself or Henry at 866-338 nine eight four five again my name is Phelan and thank you for watching